Okay, so about casting, what's the general process that you find for casting? Usually I kind of have I've kind of see the play in my head, so I kind of get an idea how I'm hearing it, seeing it and so forth. Uh, and then you write a casting breakdown. You put the breakdown on Spotlight, which is the casting mm. sort of website, um, which a lot of actors and agents subscribe to. That's only partially successful. So what we now do, we also ring up agents directly, we talk to them about the show, and I find that that more direct personal connection that you have with, the, uh, with an agent kind of um, gets good results. Um, I'll also go and see acted and showcases for drama schools, so I'm kind of like a talent scout. And, and then there's the audition process, which is you call people for an interview. And then sort of how long is the interview? What do you sort of do in the interview? Like? Well, you know, that varies very much depending on the type of director you are or the company you are. What I tend to do is I tend to give each actor half an hour. Uh, I talk to them. We, I give them a piece to sight read, which they've had maybe a few days before. Um, I might ask them to talk about how they've responded to that, what choices they've made. And then we might do it again. I might give them a note, see how they take a note, if they can change anything about it. It doesn't have to be the right changes, just to see that they're not learning things by rote and getting fixed. Then sometimes I'll do recalls as well. And you, if I do recalls, it tends to be to match people. Okay. Um, and what sort of thing were you looking for in this play? Obviously, it's an all-black cast, but was there anything else? I think one of the biggest things that I was looking for in this was the ability for the actor to make uh, clear, um, defined, and also quite big choices. That, that there's someone that's come in, they've thought about it, they've maybe done some textual breakdown, and they've also said, well, I'm going to try this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to make this character like this. Um, but having the ability to do that and make them and transform themselves into different characters. So as soon as the act walks into the audition space, is it an instant sort of thing where you can be like, okay, this person looks right, this person doesn't, or does it take a bit longer for you to be like, okay, this might be right? <laughs> you know, that's, that's uh, First the, big impressions. Secret, the big secret of auditioning is that uh, nine times out of ten, you know, within the first ten seconds. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, you, you, can, you can have your, your, your initial judgments, uh, you know, turned around by what someone does. Uh, and that can be very exciting um, when someone can come in and be unexpected. And that's usually a very, very positive sign. Have you ever made a really, really huge mistake oh, in casting? Oh, God, I think every director has. Definitely. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely. Several times. Um, <laughs> what I, have you done in that situation? Just, like, recasted or tried to make the best of a bad situation? Oh, you know, it, it, it depends how... It depends what the, what the issues are and it depends what the problems are. Um, if it's like, oh, I've just, got the, I've just got it a bit wrong but the person's kind of doing it... Okay. You can't. It's a very, very expensive thing to recast. Oh yeah. Um, so you something. It's a real last resort. But sometimes you have to. Okay. Fair sometimes enough. you just have to.